Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to introduce parallel lines and the angles that are associated with them. And we'll be exploring these relationships in future sections. So the vocabulary and these different types of angles, it will be important for you uh, to grasp this information and it will make the other information easier moving forward. So we're going to start with some definitions. We're going to start with the definition of a plane. And a plane is a two-dimensional figure with infinite length and width. So a line is just was a one-dimensional figure, was extended in infinitely in opposite directions. A plane um, has both length and width now, and it has no thickness at all. So think of a plane as a like a piece of paper that just extends forever and ever and ever, it has like no thickness whatsoever, um, but it extends infinitely in both directions. And if, like collinear, coplanar, coplanar are points, lines, and segments, and so forth that lie on the same plane. So lines can be coplanar, points can be coplanar, segments can be coplanar if they lie in the same plane. And then of course non-coplanar would be points, lines, and segments that do not lie in the same plane. So if we had a plane that was kind of like this and we had a line that came through it, that line would, and that plane would not be coplanar. Whereas if that line is on the plane, then it is coplanar. Transversal is a line that intersects two coplanar lines and two distinct points. So a transversal, well, let's take a look at our diagram down here. The two green lines would be two coplanar lines or our two distinct lines. So here's one line, here's a second line. You know, I could label that line one, I could label that line two, or I could call it like line A or line B. So, and our transversal is the red line. It's the one that's intersecting those two lines, the two green lines. That's our transversal. And then when the transversal cuts those two lines, we end up with, each time we end up with these four different angles. And I've numbered the angles one, two, and then over here we've got three and four, five and six, and seven and eight. So when we intersect line one, we get angles one, two, seven, and eight. And when the transversal intersects line two, we get angles three, four, five, and six. And our interior region is the region between our two lines. And our exterior region is on the outside of those two lines. Okay, so that's going to be important to understand where the interior region is and where the exterior region is. And of course, we could draw this differently as well. You could draw your two lines this way, and then you have your transversal cut like that. So now this is going to be your interior region. And that's exterior. And that's exterior. So it might look something like that as well. So let's talk about the, the types of angles that are formed when our transversal cuts our two lines. And one pair is the alternate interior angles. Well, alternate, that means those are on opposite sides of the transversal. That's what the alter, it's alternating sides of the transversal. Okay, so angles above the transversal and below would be alternating. And interior, that refers to the particular region. So you may have learned this before as opposite interior angles, meaning opposite sides of the transversal. We're going to call them alternate interior angles. 
then the alternate interior angles must be in the interior region and on opposite sides of the transversal. So our alternate interior angles would be 2 and 6. And another pair of alternate interior angles would be 3 and 7. So you'll we'll identify those as 2 and 6. I should probably use my angle marking. Angle 2 and angle 6 is one pair of alternate interior angles. And another pair of alternate interior angles are angle 7 and angle 3. 7 and 3, they're on opposite or alternating sides of the transversal, and they're in the interior region. So alternate exterior angles, same concept, alternating sides of the transversal, but now we're in the exterior region, the exterior region. So we're going to be working out here. So angle 1 and angle 5 would be alternate exterior angles. They're on alternating sides of the transversal. One's above it, one's below it. And they're both in the exterior region. And then, of course, our other pair of alternate exteriors would be 8 and 4. So angle 1 and angle 5. And the other pair would be angle 8 and angle 4. Those are our alternate exterior angles. And then finally, the corresponding angles. Those I look at as every other angle, but on the same side of the transversal. On the same side of the transversal. So every other angle, we've got a lot of them. So one, one, skip two, and three. One and three are corresponding. Two, skip three, and four. So two and four are corresponding. So our corresponding angles are one and three and two and four. So angle one and angle three, angle two, and angle four. And then we have a couple more pairs on the other side of the transversal, on the bottom part of the transversal. We could say angle eight and six, and seven and five. So angle eight and angle six, and angle seven and angle five. And we'll work with these in the future. Um, and we'll talk about whether lines are parallel or not, and they'll tell us some different things. Well, we definitely want to get familiar with alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and corresponding angles. And we'll get some practice with that when I see you in class.